Hello again. Growing up, I remember Francis Drake as being one of England's greatest heroes. Not only did he circumnavigate the world, he also helped defeat the Spanish Armada and prevent England from being invaded in 1588. Sixty years later, he has been rebranded for the modern age as a villain a man who is principally remembered for being a pirate and a slave trader. Indeed, when the BBC reported yesterday on the decision of the Francis Drake School in London to change its name, they began by describing Drake as a 16th century slave trader. It is quite true that as a young man, Drake did accompany his cousin on expeditions to West Africa, where the two of them got mixed up in this business, but that was a minor episode in a very full life. There seems to be a determination, though, not just by the BBC, but also by our national museums, to be as disparaging as possible about national heroes like Francis Drake. In the description to this video, I give a link to what the National Maritime Museum at Greenwich have to say about Drake. They give 10 facts about him, but manage to avoid entirely mentioning the defeat of the Spanish Armada, which is odd. Just click on that link and see what a hatchet job the National Maritime Museum do on him. One of the first British slave traders, he dodged taxes, his father went on the run to escape a charge of assault, and not one word about the Armada, the thing for which everybody else in Britain knows him. There was a time when every schoolboy knew about Francis Drake burning the Spanish fleet at Cadiz in 1587, which he described as singeing the King of Spain's beard. It was like the famous story of his playing bowls when the Armada was sighted and then choosing to finish the game and still have time to defeat the Spanish, one of those things familiar to us all. The attitude of the BBC and the National Maritime Museum has nothing at all to do with historical accuracy and everything to do with setting out to tarnish the name of the great Englishman. Like Winston Churchill, Francis Drake was instrumental in preventing this country from being invaded and occupied by a foreign army. And just as with Churchill, this means that every effort must be made to prove that he was really a bad man and a racist. This is why conversations about Churchill today tend to focus more around a famine in India than they do about his role in saving us from invasion. It is why the BBC and our national museums would prefer to describe Francis Drake as a slave trader instead of the saviour of the nation. There is what can only be described as a conspiracy to destroy the reputations of great men like Churchill and Francis Drake and see what dirt can be dug up on them and their families in order to show them in as poor a light as possible. Why else would the National Maritime Museum choose as one of their ten facts about Francis Drake that his father went on the run from criminal charges? Are we supposed to assume that that reflects badly on Drake? All our history is now subjected to this process and it is far from clear who or what is behind it. The aim is to show on the one hand that black people always lived in Britain and on the other that all our great white heroes and leaders were really very wicked people. 